வணக்கம் she has learned one come from me and that has learned many things we are going to ask her experience about our uh, impassion course i believe it's really important to do such kind of courses like um i have been in dental practice for a long time now so if i would have would have been in this course malaya dental academy doctor is wonderful i see his enthusiasm like he's a really enthusiastic person like i see he wants to do like every bit of it so this is very good Hello viewers, welcome to Maligi Dental Academy's YouTube channel. We have a very special guest with us from Australia, Dr. Alfia Patla, and uh, we welcome you, Dr. Welcome you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Say Wanakam. Wanakam. <laughs> <laughs> she has learned Wanakam from me, and she has learned many things. We are going to ask her experience about her uh, impaction course, dental impaction course, exodontia course she had with uh, Maligi Dental Academy. How was the course for the last three days? It was lovely. I would say that it was really nice. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. And thank you for being uh, very accommodating. You did. You conducted the course only for me, which I'm really thankful. And um, yeah, it was a lovely experience, and I would highly recommend uh, Maligi Dental Academy and Dr. Praveen for uh, any of. Uh, I haven't done his other courses, but yes, the disinfection course. I would highly recommend it. uh he has a lovely team of staff including all the doctors which are there and i'm sure he's uh, like along with his guidance that's how they are all lovely and um it was really nice so we had 3 days of the course we had five um uh cases where i did a lot of uh, surgical removal of teeth of wisdom teeth i did upper and lower both um i feel pretty confident now i i i do uh, a lot of extractions back in my country but um surgical is one thing which i was a bit lagging behind and now i think i feel, feel pretty confident that i will probably at least start i wouldn't say that i'm going to do all of them but at least this course gave me a push that i can at least start doing uh these kind of cases in my country so in your experience with the course so you face lot of struggles in the extractions because of the toughness of the cases yes almost you you did the position c cases and cases with class 3 where no space at all so how did you manage to remove it uh i think with the guidance of dr praveen it was pretty easy because uh, he was like you know standing or you were standing right behind me and i i got a chance of being more confident because knowing that somebody is standing at your back and doing that extraction rather than doing it in your own practice alone makes a big difference so in australia dr praveen is not going to be there so uh, how are you going to do will you will you use your own instincts and gut feelings yes because i and your trainings yeah i believe mm. because he's he's taught us the right thing so it's it's going to help because i'm not saying that i don't need him in australia but it would be good to have somebody at the back but i know that's not possible so the way he has taught us is not that he he was doing it and i was just watching it was basically me doing it and he was just just saying whether it's right or wrong like he was not actually telling me that do it this way and do it that way so it was it was boosting my confidence more that i exactly was doing how i wanted to do and then he was just letting me know whether that is the right or the wrong way eventually so what part of the extraction course you felt very difficult uh like where you lost your uh, confidence and mindset that chalo give up any moments yeah i think when he was doing when we were doing one disinfection course a uh, disinfection case uh, that was on a 4h and um, it was really deep like i believe a c kind of a case where the um occlusal level is way below the tooth number 7 so um at that point yes i seeing how difficult it was going and then he took over dr praveen took over and then i realized that it was uh, going like a difficult case and at that time i did think that you know we should uh, we should probably leave the roots behind or maybe see a specialist mm-hmm. and uh, so that is the like, lesson okay so when you know your limits Yes. that is very become a specialist actually yes that's right <clears throat> so that itself is a specialty i feel exactly <clears throat> exactly so um in that case like you helped and you know you tried to push that no we're not going to leave it behind like you know we can take a break but we can start again so mm. we did and then yes eventually we could get that tooth out which is good mm. so how was that moment when we removed the tooth and uh it was really nice but aha uh, uh-huh moment <laughs> Yeah, it was really nice, but I think if I, because I gave up and then you took over, 
Yeah. If I would have continued, I would have felt more better because mm-hmm. I would have pulled it out, not you. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Fine. Learning lesson that okay. don't give up. So, don't give up and send to Dr. Praveen. Don't <laughs> send him. Don't send to the specialist. Rather do it yourself. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so what is your advice for youngsters about this exodontia part of the uh, course? I, I believe it's really important to do such kind of courses. Like um, I have been in dental practice for a long time now. So, but because of my um, restrictions regarding the legalities in Australia, Mm. Uh, we don't pick up such cases, but I do a lot of other extraction cases. While I see people around my age and my experience are not very confident here in India because they don't do such cases so, or or even the, the graduates, they're not doing such cases. So definitely such kind of courses will help. Uh, if the investment they make for this course is really worth because for us, it's very uh, difficult to organize the course because every patient we have to monetize them also because uh, it's it's very difficult for them to get the trust on the trainee doctors exactly. so we we couldn't arrange cases easily like impa- implants and other other rct yeah. Uh, this is one of the toughest uh, part of our uh, uh, arrangements yeah. uh, where people are reluctant to come and sit for the training part. Right. So considering that only we our prices for this course is going to be not uh, that affordable for everyone, only for serious learners and people who are ready to really uh, dive into it. Yeah. So what's your stake on it? Like uh, you have invested a couple of uh, money, uh, a lot of money in this course. Yeah. And uh, what, what is the value proposition you receive for the amount you invested? Uh, I think it's uh, value for money, I would say that. Now, I do not know how it is according to the Indian standards, mm. very frankly speaking, mm. because when I did speak to a few of my uh, colleagues and according to them, it's really expensive. Mm. But when I come from an Australian standard, I feel what money value for money I have got. It is uh, worth it because I don't know what kind of other courses are going on in the market. Like mm. you guys would know more, all the viewers. Who there is nobody gives patients, they give models, exactly. animal jaw and all that. Exactly. So mm. getting uh, hands on, on patients is very, very uh, useful and mm. of course worth your money because like he said, it's really not easy to arrange patients. Mm. It's not easy to convince them. Mm. It's not easy for them to trust a trainee doctor to do an do an implant yeah. or mm-hmm. an extraction mm-hmm. on that kind of this so of course this course is really so good. right here your candidates you can see there is one more doctor operating on uh, some course patient uh, yes. who is doing her her batchmate doing a surgery there and she is uh, working on a patient removing uh, extraction yeah removing teeth in the extraction procedure and uh, see, these kind of trainings are very important for youngsters and under a mentorship guidance. Like in Germany, this happens. Like people go to a mentor, stay there for two years and they take a nice training. They do the cases, whether it is ortho surgery, everything. So, and they uh, get uh, specialty, uh, specialty degrees after the mentorship. So in India, we finish college and straight away start the clinics. There's a problem between Indian system and the Western system where mentorship is very, very important. And this kind of mentorship, it's very easily available at Malaga Dental when you enroll for our courses. Yeah. So tell a little bit about Australia, like uh, how is life there, Australia? How is your practice there? Where you practice? Like how is your, uh, uh, you, you also train for students. You can also promote your courses through this video. You can just say a hi to all of them. Yeah. We'll put a link below uh, to yeah. your uh, website. And uh, they, people can inquire about your course yeah. also. Mm. So yeah, we uh, life in Australia is is, is mm. really good because mm. we have um, it's quality life that you get, mm. and you have a lot of work life balance. Not as India where I see people are working till nine o'clock. Mm. Like this would be like what five thirty would be like time to pack up and run home mm. because that's how work life balance is. Like you start early, you finish early, and then you can go back to your kids or go for cycling or go for swim or do something like that. So definitely, if you want a better life, you should be moving to Australia. That's one. Second, uh, money. Definitely, it's way better than what you would have in, as working as a dentist here in India. What else? Um, food. You have lovely food in Australia. I'm not saying India doesn't have good food. Um, but yeah, if Australia if it has lovely food. How, how easy is to get a, get us a dentist in Australia? Um, uh, like becoming a dentist in Australia? It's, I wouldn't say it's very easy. It is a hard process. You need to be really skilled and uh, really intelligent to become a dentist in Australia, which I believe is for any country. Like just because you're a dentist in Australia, uh, in India, 
That's because you've gone through university and you've graduated, right? You've not gone through an actual exam. If the Indian government makes you sit for an actual exam, I'm sure nobody's going to clear that as well because you are not trained enough. So um, it's it, that's what any any country exam would be. So you would go to that country. You will have to face those difficulties. Be it London, be it Australia, be it you or like wherever in the world, Canada, America. It's going to be hard because. Uh, when when you're graduating just from the university, you're not learning anything, and that's why his academy, which is teaching you all a lot of things after graduation, like once you graduate, when you graduate, you're not going to um, know a lot of things about how to work on difficult cases or you know, because university is very limited to what I, I don't know how it works now, but when I had graduated, other than impression, you saw a couple of other cases, the protocols you follow about veneers and all that you were asking. Yeah. Especially with the implants, also, what is the feedback about those standards? I think it's standards? pretty. It's pretty good. The standards are pretty good. It's equivalent to what we do mm -hmm. in our country as well. So it's pretty equivalent to what we do as well. So your 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 facility is really good. Like whatever you are showing right now in the video as well, it's like very good, like high standard facility. Thank you. So it's really good and. Um, yeah, uh, the license exam for Australian Dental Council, it's uh, it's similar to what you would have for Canada or what you would have for New Zealand. It's just different kind of exams. So you have basically two parts, which is one is theory and then, no, the initial part is assessment. Then you have the theory exam, then you have the practical exam, then you have an English test and then you register. So you have to go through all these steps. Uh, you can get more information on the Australian Dental Council website. Um, also, uh, for different courses for Australian Mental Council, you can always, you know, Google. There are many academies which do Australian Mental Council um, certifications. One of us, we do an Australian Mental Council certification ourselves. It's called Australian Mental Academy. There are many in India. There are many in Egypt. There are many in Australia as well. So you can, like, you know, first first try to get into the ADC assessment process. Get your assessment skills assessed. Yeah, get your skills assessed. Um, that's also a long procedure. It takes around three to six months easily. So get to that first, and then you can think about preparing uh, for the next steps for your exam. But your main main thing would be uh, your visas after that, because getting a visa in Australia can be a bit tricky. So um, yeah, it, it it depends on your your tourist situation. Visa. Tourist visa is fine, but once you clear your exam, you need a visa to, to practice. Okay. So you'll have to uh, figure out that route. So my advice is always figure out a visa route first because you don't want to do your exams, struggle for like, you know, two or three years and then figure out that no, it's going to be very hard for you to actually work in Australia without a valid How is that? Uh, how is the visa acceptance ratio now? Uh, they, they give, they, uh, yes, they do accept a lot of, they do, uh, then just are not on the skill list anymore. So you might have to go to regional places and then stay and work there, or you might need sponsorship for dental clinics. So there are many dental clinics or many dentists who sponsor graduates who clear the exams and you got to work under them for some years. So they, they sponsor your visa basically okay. for two years or three years and then you can apply for your residency and go that way. So dear viewers, more details are available in the link below. So thank you so much, uh, Dr. Alfia. Thank you. I would, Bye. Highly, Bye. I would highly recommend his course, Malaya Dental Academy. Dr. Praveen is wonderful. I see his enthusiasm, like he's a really enthusiastic person. Like I see he wants to do like every bit of dentistry, which is very good. No, his course was really good. His team is wonderful. Like all of them are very respectful, very professional, very friendly at the same time. So the team is really good um, and uh, yeah, I would highly recommend this course. I've done the disinfection course, but uh, do look out for his other courses because when I speak to other people around here, they're, they're telling that they're here for six months, they've been here for three months and they've learned a lot of things. So yeah, and I also got to do one implant today, which is really good and thankful. So, it's an added bonus for her, she's yes. a special guest from all the way from Australia. So dear viewers, thank you so much for your support and uh, people like Alfia, they have changed their lives after coming here with a lot of enthusiasm, they're going back. We are so grateful to you for the thank trust, you. for the business, for the uh, cooperation and everything. And we are looking for more international trainings uh, here in India yeah. for people all throughout the world. We have a fantastic facility and we have patient, good patient flow. Everything is available here. Right from implants, orthodontics, we have uh, veneers, we have root canal therapy, we have smile design and everything we are doing. 
So as she said, we are very passionate in dentistry because this we love this subject. And we make everyone love this subject also because of our uh, contagious enthusiasm. Thank you, Dr. Alpia. It's so nice for your uh, feedback. Thank you. Thank you.